All right, everybody, welcome back to AnyCast Plus. Today, we are met with a brand new Dua Lipa uh, song. And look, the album comes out May 4th, or no, May 3rd, May 3rd. And so we're like a month away from release, and I've been waiting four years for this album. And once she dropped Houdini five months ago, I was like, okay, okay, we're getting the album. And then she dropped Training Season a month ago, and now this song. And once she dropped Training Season, she was like, boom, there's going to be an album. And I was like, whoa. Um, so I've been excited for this for four years. So far, I've had reactions, I think, to both of those other songs, Hundini and um, uh, Training Season. And here's the quick rundown. Hundini is great Training Season. I actually began to like a lot more. Um... I think Houdini's a better song, but Training Season's, like, really good. Both are similar to what she does, which is dance pop. But she's evolving in her music, I believe. And so I'm excited to see this, which is Illusion. And this entire album has a very, <clears throat> a very interesting theme over it. It's called Radical Optimism, I believe is what it was called. And I think it's just very interesting. There's, like, a summer beach vibe to it of the ocean the album art looks very interesting and she said something about the deep waters that we have to go through to get i can't remember what she also she said so i'm not going to even try to re-say the uh restate her statements but anyways let's look at illusion and see if this is a good song let's hope that it's great three minute song let's go i've been known to miss a red flag I've been known to put my lover on a pedestal In the end, those things just don't last And it's time I take my rose-colored glasses off is <clears throat> this is exactly what i would want out of a do leap of song um everything that i've come to expect from her music you have this very upbeat dance uh beat in the background going on you have her vocals playing out as always um but it's always it's always um She's a consistent artist, I can say that, and that is something that's very nice. Sometimes she does push the boundaries, which is great, but she's consistent in how amazing she does on these songs. So, this is great. Um, and also, the entire thing for the past three music videos of her dancing now, because I guess like the entire world was like, you suck at dancing, don't dance, you don't know what you're doing. I think that's cool too, that she was like, all right, I'll, I'll learn how to dance and I'll show you guys that I can dance. Um, let's go on. Was a time when I should might have worked. Was a time when I just threw a match and let it burn. Now I'm grown, I know what I deserve. I still like that to it. to think that this song is reminding me of stuff off of her first album not really her second if you guys didn't know this will be her third studio album and even though she's only had two albums she's had a lot of singles that haven't made the cut onto the albums but this is very reminiscent it's a little bit reminiscent of what she put on future nostalgia 
but it's more so reminiscent on her self-titled Dua Lipa album itself, her debut, um, in the way of the production and the vocals and everything coming along. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool, because, uh, you know, you have a song like Houdini, which I would say is a little bit different from what she's made already. Training season is a little bit like they're they're similar in their own ways. Each song is similar in their own way, but they're also different. This is more so original to what she started with as her starting sound, which I love. Um, mostly in her vocals, but something about the production, I can't exactly explain it, but something about the production on the song just sounds like it's almost like one kiss, but it's not. It's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. This is something else that I really appreciate about her music is these these segments in the song where you can just enjoy the actual music, the actual beat going on. And this song is doing it way, way better than I think some of the other songs. Like Houdini has that large part where it's like in the music video, it kind of looks like a rave is going on or something. And I'm sure if you played this in the audience, if Houdini in an audience full of fans, they'd be like, you know, mosh pitting, moshing together. But with this right here it's like really i don't know it's just really it's really nice to just hear the actual music like yes of course lyrics and music are important but the actual music itself and the instrumental and everything is also yeah it is equally important um in my opinion and i like the production of this beat. <laughs> well that was that was really good that was really good um yeah radical optimism out may 3rd um yeah that was great that was a great song and it's not disappointing this album is not disappointing at all in my opinion uh how many views does that video already have just released an hour ago and has 209 000. that's that's pretty cool and then training season has 20 million and then hundini has 106 million uh, that's insane that's insane that you know you just put something up oh wow she's like three billion on that that's cool um yeah that was a great song um one thing i will say it's this year is shaping up to be one of the craziest years in recent memory for me personally for music and this isn't just with pop because i'm a huge fan of pop music believe it or not this is going true with rap and pop i would say country a little bit and indie music i guess if you want to there's an entire debate is indie even a genre whatever music in general having a crazy year and this is going to come out a few weeks after Taylor Swift's album, I have a prediction, and this might just because I'm be because I'm a little bit biased, but I can't. I don't know. I'm. I don't know if I can even say I'm biased because I have now listened to the entire Taylor Swift discography. And if you've kept up to date with those reviews, you know that I think she's a wildly inconsistent artist in conceptually making an album, and that there's about three good. There's two amazing albums 
and a few others that are like good and everything else is worse than good like way less than good so my personal opinion is that her music uh radical optimism will be a superior album to whatever the heck the poet the poet department thing the tortured poet department um but we will see about that because i will be reviewing both doom lipa albums um probably be posting them over here just through the podcast um and then i will even though there's only three albums i'll be ranking the albums and talking about the highs and lows of these and i'll do the same thing for uh taylor swift i'm going to be doing a tier list actually on the main channel of all of those so uh, go subscribe to that channel the main channel anycast tv and subscribe here so you guys can be uh, informed when that stuff goes up but with that being said let me know what you guys think about this uh, music video do you guys think it's a great song and out of the three Houdini, training season and illusion which one's your favorite um i'm gonna say that <clears throat> honestly i think i still like Houdini the best but i think illusions better than training season mostly because of what they did with the production of the actual beat and everything and the vocal production that's just me now with that being said peace out everybody see you all in the next